Hello, everybody. We're at Jane Stadium on the campus of Moorhead State University, and it's our pleasure to have with us one of our noted football alums, Duran Hunter. And Duran, it's just great to see you, and just welcome back to Eagle Country. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be here. Things look a little different, but it looks good. Excellent. Yes, sir. Tell us a little bit about your program and why you're here this afternoon. Well, I started a program about two years ago called Future Ambassadors. And that uh, age ranges from 12 to 17. And what we do is take young kids on, on uh, college tours. Take them on college tours, uh, take them to different uh, schools, uh, and make sure that they know that there's a better way of life than shooting and killing. To try to use your mind instead. You got a, a good partner that's uh, showing up today to kind of help, you know, with the kids, and it has to feel pretty special to to have Phil Sims stop by. It feels great, man. I, I brought back a lot of memories on this field right here in Jane Stadium. Phil and I connected a few times. Uh, I remember the first time I uh, caught a pass from him. I I called my dad. I said, Dad, I've never seen nobody throw a football like this. Uh, and I was just so amazed at the uh, velocity and the speed of the football that this man could throw. But what I found out down the years, he's a better person than a football player. So that means a lot to me. He's supported what I'm doing here with my youth. Uh, he's made donations. Uh, he spoke to my kids. Uh, he did a video for me. I mean, I am so proud to be uh, uh, a person that knows Phil. I know Phil, the person, not Phil, the football player. Yes. Well, Phil, first of all, let's talk about uh, why you're here today. It's pretty cool to be kind of partnering with uh, one of your former teammates in a great program that uh, Deron Hunter has going. Yeah, well, Deron, you know, I'm always happy to support him. Uh, I've been talking with him for years and trying to help out when I can here and there, and it's worked out really well. When I used to do games in Cincinnati, I'd get tickets for all of his kids and everything. They'd be sitting in great seats, so that was a lot of fun. And, look, he does a great thing with uh, young kids and, uh, you know, I applaud him for it. I'm really happy to support him. Let's just get some advice for you for the 18-year-old the coming to Moorhead State, you know, entering as a freshman. What advice could you give him? Well, enjoy the experience. It's, it's something, you know, I always heard this when I was in high school. You know, college is going to be the best time of your life. And I say, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, of course, you, know, you hear these things. And, but you know what? It really was. It's where you grow up. It's where you create friendships that last forever. And it, it does go back quick. But when you're here, just, uh, you know, I, I, you want to say to him, really, really pay attention to it and enjoy it. And of course, this beautiful scenery is one of the things, but all the people you're gonna meet, and it, it really, I think it just changes your life. And uh, so my experience here was tremendous. Uh, I wish I would have enjoyed it more, really, and appreciated it more when I was here, but I appreciate it even more now when I come back. What advice would you have for future Eagles? Just come down here and be you, be who you are. You cannot be a better person than yourself. Believe in the things that you can do as, a, as an athlete, but I always tell the kids there's a word that goes in front of athlete, and that's student. If you become a great student, the athletic part would take care of itself, and we need you to know that being an eagle is a great thing. Amen. And, and coming here was an eye-opening experience for me as a young man coming out of Cincinnati Princeton High School, uh, coming to Moorhead State University, first time away from home, and just being able to come and play college football is something I thought I would never be able to do. But by the grace of God, I was able to come here and do well. 